Welcome to the Big Data Analytics with PySpark, Power BI, and MongoDB course. In this course, we will be creating a Big Data Analytics pipeline using Big Data technologies like PySpark, MLLib, Power BI, and MongoDB. We will be working with earthquake data that we will transform into summary tables. We will then use these tables to train predictive models and predict future earthquakes. We will then analyze the data by building reports and dashboards in Power BI Desktop. So Power BI Desktop is a powerful data visualization tool that lets you build advanced queries, models and reports. With Power BI Desktop, you can connect to multiple data sources and combine them into a data model. The data model then lets you build visuals and dashboards that you can share as reports with other people in your organization. MongoDB is a document-oriented NoSQL database used for high volume data storage. It stores data in JSON-like format called documents and does not use row column tables. The document model maps to the objects in your application code, making the data easy to work with. So what you will learn in this course is you will learn how to create data processing pipelines using PySpark. You will learn machine learning with geospatial data using the Spark ML Lib library. You will learn data analysis using PySpark, MongoDB and Power BI. You will learn how to manipulate clean and transform data using PySpark data frames. You will also learn how to create geo maps using arc maps for Power BI. You will also learn how to create dashboards in Power BI. So what we have in front of us is our dashboard that we have created from our data model. So our model was created from our summary tables in MongoDB. So basically we have used the model to build our visualizations and then ultimately create a dashboard. So what you can see before you is we have the map visualization with our predicted earthquakes for the year 2017. Right, so we have derived these from using our 1965 up until 2016 earthquake training data and then we have predicted the earthquakes for the year 2017. So those will be our circle markers. Each circle marker is defined by the size of the magnitude of the earthquake. So if the magnitude is for instance 5.8 this will be the size of the circle and the larger circle will basically tell us that there is a greater earthquake magnitude right so you can see that the predicted magnitude is 5.9 when we hover over a larger circle so the size of the circle determines the magnitude of the earthquake and you will see there are tiny little circle markers as well so this is basically the data that we have gotten from esri so there are two options for using map visualizations in power bi the one is the standard map visualization tool that's built into power bi and the other is a plugin which is called esri's arc maps for Power BI and that is basically what we have used, right? So we are using Arc Maps for Power BI and basically Arc Maps allows you to um, get reference layers from online, right? And then download them and use them as part of your map visualization. So that is what we use. So we basically use a reference layer of earthquakes from the year 2015 up until 2016, right? And then we are, are basically using our own data for the predicted earthquakes for the year 2017.
So we are plotting that alongside the earthquakes for the year 2015 and 2016. Okay, so there's multiple options for changing base maps, styling, layers, and styling the circle markers that we have on our map. All those options are available to use, right? Which is basically um, more feature packed than the standard Power BI map visualization tool. So you have the power of Esri uh, Arc Maps to use at your disposal for building map visualizations and embedding them into your dashboard. So that is what we have done. Okay, and then we are also building additional visualizations. Like right now we are plotting the maximum and average magnitude for each year. So that is the maximum earthquake magnitude for a given year, as well as the average um, magnitude value for a given year. So we can plot multiple visualizations in one single axis as well. And that is all done via dragging and dropping. So no programming is needed in Power BI, which makes it extremely powerful. And we also have the number of earthquakes by year that we have plotted as well. So you will see that there's a year and then there's a count value for the number of earthquakes for the given year. Okay, and the other visualization that we have is a uh, donut map that is basically visualizing the types of earthquakes that we have in our data set. So the majority of our data set contains standard earthquakes and then just a tiny minority contains nuclear explosions. And then an even tinier minority contains explosions and rock bursts. So basically we have the option of creating multiple charts and then embedding them into a single dashboard. We also have our table visualization. Another thing about this dashboard is that it is interlinked. So if we had to click on a single point on our map, we can see that the table will display that point on its own, right? So that we can see the details of the point. So we can see the predicted magnitude, the year, the root mean squared error for that prediction, as well as the location of the point. So if we hover over it, we can see the same information, right? And we can also do the same thing by selecting a random record from our table and then it will take us to that point on the map, right? So you can see that the record displays the same information as the tooltip. So that is basically the power of Power BI. So it does all of this for us without any programming needed. Okay, so that's basically um, some of what we will be covering in this course. So there will be much to learn and basically the majority of the course will focus more on the data processing as well as the building of tables in MongoDB, which are called collections, as well as using that to build data models that we can use in Power BI to create visualizations. So this is just the end result of the big data pipeline that we have built as well as the data that we have cleaned and then managed to build models out of so i hope you guys will enjoy this course and that it will help you build more complex and more advanced map visualizations as well as dashboards in power bi and that you will also be able to integrate various big data tools like PySpark and MongoDB to build more complex data processing pipelines that will help you in whichever project you are busy with. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the course.